to be sure to subscribe to 60 Dark King and today we are going to do another Let's Watch and review of Death Battle. Today is going to be Amy Rose versus Ramona Flowers. Okay, I know Amy very well. I have absolutely no idea what Ramona is about other than the preview. <laughs> so, you know, stick with the demo you know. So, I think Amy is going to win this. So, Remember disclaimer, this is for Christian purpose and as such is protected under the law of fair use. I have no interest in any kind of copyright shenanigans whatsoever. So, let's do this. And... Play. And even turn herself invisible. Right, by concentrating her energy, Amy can somehow keep her entire body from view. <laughs> She's obsessive, fast, and can turn herself invisible. It's like the Sonic Gods made the ultimate stalker. <laughs> well, she still hasn't learned how to hide her shadow. That might be even scarier. But what really gives Amy an edge is her signature weapon, the Pico Pico Hammer. God, that's a dumb name. It's actually based on the Japanese children's toy of the same name. Girl. 
when Ramona Flowers first saw Scott Pilgrim, she was immediately unimpressed. I just wanted to do her own thing, delivering packages for Amazon Canada. But Scott couldn't get her out of his mind. Literally in his mind, which is weird. Wow. It's not weird at all. So, no, it's just you have this really convenient stuff to face highway running through here that I like to use. It's like three miles and 15 seconds. Right, right. Yeah, okay. Anyway, Scott somehow managed to charm her into giving him a chance. But there was just one little, somewhat dangerous catch to it all. You see, if Scott wanted to land his pilgrims at Vagina Rock, he had to battle and defeat Ramona and settle his collections. It's ah! so bad, that's way too much work. I don't care how hot she is, find a new one. Luckily for Scott, he did not have to fight them all alone, as Ramona isn't your typical damsel in distress. Yeah, she's a badass. She's strong, tough, and damn good on a pair of rollerblades. She's also proficient in numerous types of weapons, from mallets to swords, and carries multiple on her person at all times, such as her titanium baseball bat. And her giant hammer. It might look plain to you, but when Ramona wields this sledge, even Gundam robots fall to pieces. It also gives her a plus two bonus against girls. Maybe I should read that comic. That just sounds fun. Sure, it's a tiny number, but in context, all power-ups in Scott Pilgrim's world use small numbers for big changes. So it's actually not half bad. Well, either way, somehow she keeps all her weapons in her purse. How the hell do women do that? <laughs> That's not just any purse boomstick, it's her subspace suitcase. It may seem like an ordinary bag, but it's actually a door to an extra-dimensional hammer space. Okay. This subspace is a series of pocket dimensions available to certain people through extra-dimensional doorways. Dimension in a bag, got it. It's more of a doorway, and the dimension it leads to exists inside Ramona's head. She can even control this particular pocket of space with her emotions. Wow, Jesus, that's crazy. What the hell were these writers on? Heroin. <laughs> and by that, I mean a strong female protagonist. Hey, oh, what's with you today? <laughs> Without Ramona's skills and weaponry, Scott likely would have never succeeded in defeating the evil exes. Like when she fought Roxy, her ex from her... Sexy face. Roxy is strong enough to knock Scott so hard he smashed several steel eye beams, which would need wow. at least 3,000 pounds of force. And Ramona's taking hits and sexing up this superpower chick, no problem. She's also got many years of experience under her belt. Even when she was just around 12 years old, she could fight off an entire army of older jocks all at once. She's strong enough to send people flying dozens of feet through the air with a smack of her hammer. And she's so fast and nimble on her rollerblades, she can keep up with ninjas. Man, this chick's got it all. Don't get too starry-eyed just yet, though. Ramona has her fair share of problems. For example, the only reason Ramona has so much control over her subspace in the first place is because one of her exes infected her with the glow. Ah, the glow, huh? That's huh? a rough one. I've got it too. Wait, really? You have an energy field which turns your own emotions against you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I have. On a completely unrelated note, Wiz, how long should one's genitals normally, um, glow in the dark? Exactly zero seconds. <laughs> okay, well, it's a good thing I don't have that problem then. But roller coasters of emotions aside, Ramona is one hell of an ass kicking girlfriend any man would be lucky to get with. I think you need a doctor. Well, then give me this kid who's pretentious that I'll talk here because I'm about to kick yours out of the great white noise. And right, that movie. That's that's that looks fun. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, if you're one of those people who eats food, then I have some great information for you. Uh, nope. Okay, let's do this. Yes, have this 
kind of battles. I don't actually see it. Yeah.